Hey everybody, welcome back to Boost Your Income with Bootstrap to WordPress. This lecture is called Adding External Scripts to Your HTML Document. Check it out. At the very, very bottom, before our closing body tag, we have some Bootstrap Core JavaScript that we're going to need to add. So let's add an HTML comment there. Bootstrap core JavaScript. And so that will be placed at the end of the document. Let me just give a little, might as well use the same HTML comment here. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to need to add a script tag. And that script tag is going to have some attributes here source. And we're going to load up the version that is. Uh, on the googleapis.com website. So slash slash, don't put HTTP or HTTPS. This will do it for you. It will decide uh, whether to serve up the secure one or not. That's just kind of one way of doing it. Googleapis.com slash Ajax slash libs for libraries slash jQuery slash 1.11.1 slash jQuery dot min dot js. Now, if you're wondering like, hey, Brad, do you have a crazy memory? And how do you remember all that? Well, I don't remember all this. It's just when you download, if you download a template off of the getbootstrap.com website, all of this uh, stuff is kind of included. So I've just picked and ch uh, choosed, chosen the, uh, the stuff that I want included in our project. So I actually have something that I'm just looking at right now and just typing the same thing out. So you copy me, I copy my old work. Everybody's good. Capiche? Capouche. Script. Got another script here. Source. Assets. This one is actually local. So what we're doing here is we're loading up some we're checking here for the version online and if we don't have an internet connection it will default to our local version assets js jquery dash two point one point one dot min dot js now you might be wondering brad we don't actually have jquery in our assets JS folder. You're right. So we need to go ahead and download that. So just head to Google and just type in Google jQuery. So that'll pull up the Google hosted libraries here, open that up, and it will give you a bunch of um, hosted libraries that you can just utilize uh, Google's servers to serve up. So you can see all the available libraries here. We're going to need jQuery. That'll pop us down to jQuery. And you can see here it gives you a couple of script snippets that you can copy. Um, we use the 1.11.1, but it looks like there's a new one. So let's just copy that and go back to our code editor and replace this script with the most up-to-date one, which is 2.1.1. We're going to also need to download jQuery. So there's a couple ways you could do it. Uh, the, my re the recommended way is just to go to jQuery.com and download the latest version of jQuery, which is I will do right here, jQuery 2x. Let's download the latest version of jQuery. So the compressed production version, that should be good. So there's jQuery 2.1.1. I'm going to open that up there. And in our Bootstrap to WordPress site here in JS, I'm just going to drag jQuery 2.1.1 into our JS folder. So we should now have that here. And this reference should now be a real reference. Okay, and then one last thing, we'll just add it now while we're here. Script source, that will be assets slash JS slash main dot JS. And we're going to close that up there. So we don't have one in there, so we might as well add one. We're not going to do anything with it yet, but main dot JS in our JS folder, and we'll come back to that when the time comes. So let's just do a quick little review here to make sure we got everything. We have our doc type, we have all the necessary HTML tags, we have some meta tags that we'll be filling out here once we get into WordPress in a little while from now. 
we're referencing our favicon in our images folder. The title, we've got some HTML5 shiv and response.js for those silly Internet Explorer browsers. And then we've got our header hero, opt-in, booster income section, who benefits, yada, 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 a bunch of HTML section tags, HTML5 footer tag, a div for our modal, modal, sorry, and bootstrap core JavaScript. We added all that fancy schmancy stuff there. Body, HTML, we're good. If you just got that far and you survived, good job. You're awesome. See you in the next lecture where we're going to be installing the free icon fonts. Font awesome. See you there. Bye.